How's it going guys? It's Poetry Stud and welcome to another episode of the multiplayer mini campaign in EU4 with Jack. How you doing Jack? Hey, what's going on? Not too much, you know, just preparing for the largest war of the game possibly. Right? Well, I don't so know, the league war might have been bigger, but still. Uh, maybe, maybe. Well, but, yeah, no, as far as countries involved, definitely was. But, but this is this one might honestly have more deaths, we'll see. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see. So as I just pointed out to Poetry, um, I realized that my Duchess was elected at 78 years old. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's uh pretty old for this uh, game. That's pretty damn. She like she's got probably got a mean time to die of like a year. Three, <laughs> yeah, like not too long. Right now, I'm bringing home. It's see, this is why I have humanist, so that like I don't need to keep armies abroad because I have. Brabant has called me zero purge of Luxembourgian heresy. Uh. But yeah, like, like this is what I love about humanists is that I have so many colonies and stuff, and but I don't have any unrest, so I can just have all my armies be home. So Brabant called me into a war against Luxembourg, which mm -hmm. is fine, but it would prevent me from declaring war on Brandenburg later, unless we can piece them out early, because I still have to regain manpower anyway, so I don't think it's a big deal, but I am going to wait a little bit to accept this call. Huh. Um, you know what's interesting? What's that? Sometimes I have... Oh, autosave. Just give it a sec. <laughs> oh my god, look at the year! 666! Six, six, six. We've made um, it pretty far. <laughs> 222 years. Yeah. Um... Sometimes I don't know what ha why what triggers it, but like, have you ever had it where sometimes colonies are like allow royal marriages? Because I've had that happen before. It's nice. Hmm. It's easy to keep them. No, I, I don't know. Yeah. All right, so I am going to go into this war. All right, which one? The one that Brabant called me into. Mm, okay. Gotcha. And let's see. Gotcha, mate. Um. Are you there? Two out of four leaders. What are my leaders? Actually. Two generals. I need an admiral. I can't get an admiral there. What is my naval tradition? It's pretty crap. Mm. Hire a new leader here. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty bad. That's good. That's good. Oh, baby. All right. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> the war fleet is assembling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's gonna be so juicy. Alright, Aztec Separatists. You can deal with them, uh, New Catalonia. You're strong enough. I mean, I guess theoretically I could always call Poland into a war against Denmark, but... Mm -hmm. I don't really want to do that. Yeah. I'm losing money. Oh no, <laughs> a lot of it actually. But I Ooh, just wait, 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 wait. I just go down on army maintenance, and now I'm making Let's thirty see. a month again. The siege forces abdication, so I can make my ruler die right now. Nice. Or I'm, I'm going to lose one stability any either way, because the other option is lose one stability. Mm-hmm. So, who's my heir? Four, four, three, and a conqueror, so less separatism. Yo, I will take that. And she's not literally 78 years old <laughs> okay and 443 is a, like a good ruler yeah anyway, we could unpause again all right um way better than a 331 anyway this is gonna be juicy yeah oh where is there am i missing any armies there's one two three four five six all six armies are in the Iberian Peninsula for the first time in a long time. Oh, yes. baby. Yeah, you're going to want them there. You yeah. You're going to want them there. <laughs> My fleet is assembled. It's great. Good. Oh, there's still 17 more on the way. Oh, I'm going to read out to you how big it is, okay? All right. In a second, once I get everything together. Oh, no. My uh, husband died. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so here's my fleet, okay? Total uh -huh. fleet. 49 heavies, mm -hmm. 128 tra trade ships, 
13 uh, galleys and 95 transports. Nice. <laughs> Let's look at France's navy. France, 43 heavies, so five, uh, six less than me. 74 light ships, so like 50 less than me. Zero yeah. galleys, so 13 less than me. And like 40 transports less. That's good. You're yeah. just going to have to make sure that like, you use your navy better. Yeah, well, I mean, it's all going to be... It's just going to be one giant death navy yeah, stack. Exactly. So should be fine. Uh, well, I mean, it should be fine unless they have one giant... I don't, I don't know, actually, but right. whatever. Um, hmm. Man, I don't know what to do about some of this stuff, though. Oh, hey, we should upgrade that port. Um, okay, so mm -hmm. the thing is, Girona is only a hills province, so Navarra would be better for them to come through, but they'll probably go through Girona. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. But like the first for the first while of the war, all I'm gonna be doing is just sitting in the mountains waiting for them to come to me. <laughs> um, doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah, as long as they go for it, you might have to bait them a little bit. Yeah, if you want them to attack you. I'm probably also going to well, so I'm gonna have to deal with Castile, but that might that's if anything that's a good thing. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna like destroy them, so that's fun. Yeah, you could probably take them out immediately with one army yeah well not one army you'll take like two probably uh but yeah they are they're isolated so i'm just gonna smash them and then put one troop in every province and siege them down <laughs> so that shouldn't be too bad um i don't like that huh yeah um do i have claims on any of uh on like madrid or toledo i do not why not Oh my god, they've developed their provinces so much. <laughs> okay. Now well, we're not going to war just yet, so... Okay. Yeah, we got time. France is out of that war. So, what are your plans on making Poland uh, break their alliance? <laughs> I, I'm not going to be able to. What if I try? Let's see. I'm gonna have they to wait. trust France too much. Mm. And they don't have a reason to declare war on them. Ah. So it's just not gonna happen. Yeah. Mm hmm. Why. When do you lose that influence? Ooh! 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 Nice. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'll be able to grant an admiralship soon. <laughs> if only I had 2,000 ducats lying around to upgrade all my ships. Right. Um, okay. Malgana. Malgana. I should colonize there because I have a mission to do so that I haven't used. I'm just going to cancel this mission. It's going to take too long. Um... Hmm. What is my force limit at? Do I have room for another army? No, probably good. I should get some mercs though. Mix in some mercs uh, with my main stacks. Let's do like, so like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. 10 mercs. That's good. Every little bit will make a difference against France. Yeah. I mean, like, honestly, I'm not too worried about France. Um, they're strong, but they're not as, they're not as strong as me. <laughs> like, I'm looking at development. Um, I have twice as much development as them. Twice. Nice. Uh, if you include my subjects even more a little bit more but no yeah we're gonna wreck them hmm <clears throat> the only thing is that their uh their army composition and like their morale boost and stuff is gonna mm -hmm. suck and their army size mm-hmm 
So what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to change one of my religious things uh, to the morale. Yep. Thing. I've had mine on morale and discipline forever. Yeah. Man, we're a. I'm a. I have a fairly diverse uh, empire. I've discovered. I have. Yeah. I have Sunni provinces, Hindu provinces, Coptic provinces, and Catholic provinces, and Theravada. <laughs> provinces. On the other hand, mine is almost entirely German Protestants. Nice. There's some Dutch. Yeah. I have. But they're like two percent. <laughs> in terms of culture, my empire is like a mess. <laughs> It's a, it's a, I mean, I own like, <laughs> I own literally 90% of the coastline of Africa. Nice. Um, well, let's see. What is this? I'll do that. Um, and now we can, oh, free points time, apparently. Free points time. I love free points time. Nobility. I'm gonna give you some land, okay? Use it wisely. There you go. I've given you your free land. Clergy. Clergy. I'm gonna give you some land too. Quite a bit, actually. Well, I'm probably not gonna be able to get you up to the max or the amount I need. Okay, let's just do that then. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And you grant admiralship. And then give you one more provinces. One more province. Ooh, our empress is now an inspiring leader. That's good. Yeah. So I get morale from her. Okay, cool. There's that. Where we know I'm um, a little bit of that. Um, there we go. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a fun war. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. Yeah. Conquer Languedoc. Yes, that's our war goal. Um, or that's our mission we're gonna take. Hmm. Yeah, no, they would def. Poland's never going to drop that alliance. Nope. Do you have them in a war right now, or? Nope. Okay, because you're, are you in the Brabant War or whatever? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, then. Oh, that's BS. Oh, that's BS. Darn it. All right, whatever. I don't want a plutocratic coup. We're gonna have to fight some burgers. Uh, burgers, where are you? Let's go ahead and raise up army maintenance. Hmm. Man, I'm losing a lot of money when I'm at full maintenance, apparently. Yeah. I lose money when I'm reinforcing. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a good trial Whoa. to see. I got Berlin out of this war. You got Berlin? Yeah. Nice. They just gave they it just to gave you. It. Okay. Gave, yeah, the Rabban gave it to me. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. I wonder if Tierra Austral will uh, bring me any benefit. My Australian colony. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Well, I guess I'm going to be devoting an army for now to sitting on Brandenburg or Berlin. Yeah. That, yeah, that added 42 development to me. That's almost as much as my capital. Huh. Like, nice. My capital's 43, so. Damn. That's pretty good. Yeah.
Hmm. So, France. So, like, what is your manpower at now? Uh, 51. I've obviously lost some through this war. Mm -hmm. But not as much as I could have. This war is, like, definitely almost over, though. Mm -hmm. They pieced mm -hmm. out Brandenburg. They pieced out Bavaria. Bavaria lost land to line again. And Luxembourg's provinces are being sieged by me. The last ones, anyway. Wait, did I get another province? I did. They gave me Oberfelds. What the fuck is that? Uh, in Bavaria somewhere. Sweet. That side of I got things. Two provinces out of this war. I didn't even have a claim on that one when they gave it to me. Nice. Yeah, it is, actually. That's another 12 development. And a fort. Which, like, is more shit to pay for, but, you know. <laughs> That's true. It gives me two forts on that border, which is yeah. good. What level is it? So it's, it's a level two fort, but, I mean, it's something. I think I'm gonna, like, declare on France. <laughs> right now? Maybe. I don't Luxembourg's know. about to be full siege, and then they'll be out of this war. I'm not okay. gonna go siege the Papal State, because they're too far for me to care. And mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the rest of the people in this war can take care of it now. Yeah, Superbont attacking Luxembourg in right. the Pope's land. So I don't know, I'm mostly just, I'm looking at, over. I'm looking at what's gonna happen. Well, you just have to make sure Poland won't join. If I promise Austria land, they'll join. Oh, wait. No, Austria's only problem is debt. Hey, Austria, here you go. Nice. Pay off your debt, son. There's 400 ducats. That's probably good for now. Would Poland join on France's side? Uh, let me see. If they would. They would. Hmm. Defensive war, French diplomatic hmm. reputation, and that's basically it. They're friendly okay, so, towards me, so. So then, what you would need me need to let me do is get in a war with Poland on my side first, and then I would declare war on France, and then you would declare war on France. Well, but that wouldn't help because Poland would still be ally. Wait. No, with oh, Poland no. on my side first, and then let me declare war on France. Mm-hmm. Because then. And, and then they wouldn't be able to join France in a war against you. Because they would be allied with me at a war with France. Mm hmm. I got gotcha. you. Let me think about this. Wait, well, no, because they would still be allied with France. They just wouldn't be in the war with France. So they wouldn't be in my war with France, but they would be in your war with France. Yes. I think is how it would go. I believe that is correct. Hmm. Which is less good, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, I might just, like, deal with them. I well so the thing is if you do that then I can call Austria into my war and then Austria could just beat up Poland <laughs> but I don't know might in that case it might be better if you called in Austria so that Poland oh god Poland is big when did they get I so know. big they've been big like <laughs> as soon cow. as oh they're a great power now yeah oh shit hmm. damn their wars their war with Russia must have gotten really well yeah and they the see. map definitely did so we don't want them to be at war. Yeah. Us. Hmm. Oh. Wow, I cored Berlin really fast. I guess I, I think we should. Helps, uh. Well, let's see. How are you not piecing them out? You have eighty-five percent war score, and they're fully occupied. Forget the Pope. Just in the war. AI sometimes. I guess they want to purge heresy, so they might need 100% war score. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Still. Uh, New Catalonia sent me a gift. Nice. Good nice. colony. Good colony. I actually do need the money now, because I'm like... I'm saving up. <laughs> right. I'm going to yeah, need I'm a lot. To save up too. I think I've built an, as many level six forts isn't going to for now you know what i'm gonna do hmm. i've just decided i'm gonna vassalize castile to humiliate them <laughs> is that how that works do i let's see i could just oh but the total war score cost is 108 well but it's halved if it's uh if you vassalize right isn't it no it's like if I co-belligerent them, I should be able to do it. Maybe. Yeah, you'll have to... Yeah, but their only ally is France, so there's no downside to co-belligeranting. Right. 
co belligerizing, I guess. Um. So, Hold I. Uh, Stop it. You know what I'm tempted to do? What's that? I have so much uh, extra military points that I might just take the tech like three years early to get ahead of France. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I think I might do that. Again, I'm just gonna like keep looking at this screen to see what would happen. <sighs> Bohemia would join because they're a uh, lesser partner in union. French, oh my god, hey, wait a second. Are you allies with Poland? Uh, no. I could be. They are friendly towards me. What if? Actually, I could ally Poland right now. Do you think what I should try? You, what if you ally Poland and get them in a war with you against Castile? That might work. I'm going to ally them because I can... I'm not going to royal marry them yet, but I can just ally right. and break it if I don't want to be with them. Actually, exactly. you know what? This might... Let's see, let's see, let's see. No, I'm not going to royal marry you yet. Uh, I I think... Do you have... um? Hmm. What? France's diplomatic reputation has been sabotaged. Good. And that doesn't sound like it makes a big deal, but it means... It, it does, a little bit. Yeah, it does, because Poland only has 30 reasons to join the war and 25 not to. So they nice. are actually close to not even just, just not even joining the war. But I don't think it's going to... Be able to Let's see. All right. So if I call in Poland against Castile, they wouldn't. That's the problem is that they don't. They wouldn't. Oh join. yeah, I still have to embrace this fucking institution. <laughs> God damn. That's why. That's why I have all these missions to build manufactories everywhere. Mm, yeah. Same here. It, it adds manufactory support. I forgot about that. That's probably why I had that mission too. Yeah. It's it's still uh, not in my country at all, really. Eh, it's in like five, six provinces, so. It would cost me fourteen hundred to embrace it right now. Yeah, it cost me three thousand. <laughs> yeah. I need to do that though. Oh no! I got an event that lost me a thousand sailors. Oh no! What will I ever do? <laughs> Fifth March. I found it. I found it a little funny that they're like you know tentatively planning on just scrapping the sailors mechanic, possibly. Yeah. It makes sense. I think it's a good it, choice, I mean, honestly. It would be fine if they just, like, made it matter. Yo, we're getting called a piece. You have 100% war score. Peace <laughs> out, dude. That's my favorite. Oh, oh my god, you lost war score. Oh my god. Take over. Jack. Peace. What? Me yeah. allying Poland had an unintended effect. Did they break it with France? Yes. Okay, that's good. Actually, yes. it makes a lot of sense because we're, we're both, both rival to Yeah, France. so one wasn't enough, but two was. Oh yeah. my god. I right, well this is that makes it way easier. Yeah. You can be clear now. I'm gonna wait till I'm out of this war. Yeah, basically we can like just win now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially because East Anglia won't even join, not that they really matter. I but... swear to god, Brabant, peace out of this fucking war. Oh wait. I, they want to take provinces from Luxembourg, but I control all of Luxembourg's provinces. I'm not gonna give them their provinces though. I don't want Actually, that to get Peasants there. control them now. <laughs> well yeah, I know. So we have ninety nine percent instead of a hundred percent wars <laughs> because the Pope is fully sieged except for one province. All right. Well, that's really good. So allying Poland did have an effect. Hey, I will separate peace, Brad. I, I was really actually when I allied Poland, I thought that it might do that. I was like, I was like, wait, what if it makes them break the alliance because they're rival because right. we're rivaled? And exactly. It did. So I'm gonna. Does it matter who calls in Austria? You uh, should no. probably call them in. Honestly. It doesn't matter who calls in Austria. I think you should call them in. Because you're next to Bohemia. Like, if you call them in, it'll be easier for you to, like... Like, they're close to you. You guys are close together, so it'll work better. Peace out the Papal State. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you, uh, let you call in Austria, right? Okay, let me pause real quick. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to separate piece... Well, okay, first I'm going to transfer all of my occupations to... Nah, no, mm -mm. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let them figure out what they want to do. It costs a hundred one percent war score to purge, and we have a hundred percent. So I'm just gonna let Brabant figure out what they want to do with this war because I'm not giving Castile. Them control. Castile 
insulted me. Oh, Castile, if only you had any idea what's coming to you. <laughs> right? You've, you've lived far too long developing my land to ridiculous amounts. It's not acceptable. Okay. Brad, I hate you so much. I think I'm, like, about to declare. Wait, so, oh, hey, but, but first, before... Oh, they pieced uh, out. Let's see what they did. Right. Oh, they gave you uh, Luxembourg. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. They seeded me Lutec because they couldn't take it. Nice. So I got three provinces out of that war and 16 favors, and Brabant got nothing. Nice. You do have a lot of aggressive expansion. I know, but, like, whatever. Yeah. What are they going to do? Attack me and Poland? Yeah. And Austria? I don't think so. As long as Austria and Poland don't care, I think you're good. Um, yeah. So and I don't think they do. Hey, well, real quick. Check to see that Austria you... Austria cares a little bit. Check to see that you could get Austria in your war. Would they join mm -hmm. on yep, your side? They okay. Would. okay, that's good. So I, I just uh, want to make sure. I'm going to declare until I can get a claim on one more French province. And how long will that be? I'm at 27 out of 30. I, I'm gonna declare, okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna end this episode. So it's I'm, a cliffhanger. I mean, if you want to call in Austria, like just to get them in now. No, it's it's fine. I want. Uh, I think it'd be better for you to get them in, for tactical mm -hmm. reasons. All right. Uh, I, I, and honestly, I don't think it matters really. All right. Um. Well, so I'm gonna declare, up. and then I'm gonna declare before we end, just to see what happens. <laughs> I also got a ton of money out of that war because I had like all the war participation. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna call my trade fleets home now. Actually, real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You should do that uh, before the war starts, I suppose. Um, yeah. Is this okay? Languedoc will be the war goal, I think. Um, I think I'm just gonna increase autonomy in Berlin because I can't afford a big fucking rebellion over there. Last thing to check: Castile is still only allied with France. Take Languedoc. Co-belligerent Castile, East Anglia will not join. Austria will join, but I'm gonna let you get them in. It has been done. Okay. All right. Well, All right. we're gonna end this episode here. So thank you guys yep. for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. This is especially an episode where you might want to go check the other person's perspective, or you know, if you if you want to, you could even watch both at once. You know, get it yeah. because it's gonna be a two-part war. You know, we're declaring separate wars to skewer yep. them. <laughs> but anyways, we'll go and see you guys in the next time. In the yep, next episode. Goodbye. Bye.